क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous section we have got to know about uh, how can we prepare ester from the alkyl halide and uh, now we are going to talk about uh, that how can we prepare higher alkenes from alkyl halide that is woods reaction so now let us talk about this reaction in a very deep detail so woods reaction is nothing but uh, the reaction of the alkyl halide with that of the sodium metal and uh, now let us understand that how the reaction takes place uh, in such a manner that we could obtain that is higher alkenes so let us understand the general reaction first so usually what we use is we use an alkyl halide and uh, we react it with that of the sodium metal but we have to use that is two moles of the same uh, alkyl halide and that is what i am using over here along with that of two moles of uh, that is sodium metal i have mentioned over here as and that solvent is basically dry the so the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is uh, one of the sodium it will be able to move one of the halogen atom and another one that will be able to that is uh, remove one of the halogen atom from the alkyl halide and that's the reason that we could obtain that is two moles of nax the thing that is been left out is basically this r or this alkyl group and this alkyl group so this is what we have so again we are obtaining an alkane but this alkane is comparatively higher alkane the reason behind that is suppose if we are using that is methyl chloride over here and uh, if we are reacting with that of the sodium metal along with that of uh, another mole of uh, methyl chloride has been uh, reacting with that in uh, in presence of the dry ether then we could get that is ethane and the rest of it will be the byproduct that is two moles of nacl so this is the reaction that takes place over here and uh, most of all we could say that is uh, to obtain uh, the higher alkane in woods reaction basically this two r groups must be the same or usually it happens that the both are same and if they both are not same then a kind of uh, mixture of products that we could obtain over here but uh, let us talk about that thing later on but uh, let us talk about uh, this reaction where we could find that both the uh, alkyl groups are the same so let me give you an example for this one that is suppose if we are using that is ch3 br along with that of suppose uh, two moles of sodium and uh, that is again one mole of that is ch3br and this happens in presence of that is dry ether so the thing that we could obtain over here is because uh, the byproduct that would be removed that is two moles of na that would be able to that is uh, remove that is uh, i would mention over here as when this br would be removed in the form of that is two na br and the thing that is obtained uh, with us is basically this methyl group and again this methyl group so therefore this ch3 bond ch3 is what we call it as ethane so this is how we can obtain the higher alkanes that is suppose if we are using that is methyl bromide and um, and if you are reacting and if you are uh, a uh, sodium metal in it so in presence of dry ether then what we could obtain is we could obtain that uh, the coupling will take place in such a manner that uh, the ethane would be produced and ethane is basically we could say that uh, it is higher alkane compared to that of uh, the methyl chloride and this is what we have so this is uh, uh, the example of uh, the first condition when the both the alkyl groups are been the same and what happens if uh, the both the alkyl groups or alkyl halide uh, the both are supposed different and that is reacted with that of sodium in presence of dry ether so let us uh look out that also so now let us understand that uh, what happens uh, if uh, we could uh, say that is uh, whenever an uh, alkyl halide is been reacted with that of uh, the sodium metal suppose if i mention you over here with that of uh, that is the different alkyl halide suppose in this case i am mentioning it over here as r dash and again we have to that is mention that is in presence of dry ether so this is what we have mentioned over here and the thing is the product would be obtained we can get a mixture of uh, the products for example uh, that is we could uh, get uh, this as an alkene or either we could get that is this as an alkene or else we could get that is this as an higher alkene so this is the mixture that we could get over here but the thing is whenever uh, we use uh, uh two different alkyl halides and uh, if that undergoes that is fourth reaction then most of all the major product that we could get is basically uh the same uh 
number of uh, the R group. Suppose if this is Rx, so therefore it will combine with that of another Rx, and this is known as self coupling. And uh, this is what it happens. So this kind of uh, reaction it will be, uh, or this kind of product that we would obtain, that will be major product. Again, this is will be the major product, and the possibility of forming this one would be minor. So therefore, this is what we have. So this kind of uh, that is. Uh, the process that happens and now let me give an example so that we could understand in a better way that is suppose what if we react that is uh, ch3 br along with that of the two moles of sodium and uh, that is suppose c2h5 over here the both the alkali halides are different and suppose if we are treating it with that of the dry ether in presence of dry ether that the possible uh, products that we would obtain over here is because uh, uh, the self product would be formed in such a manner that is uh, uh, suppose this methyl uh, bromide that will combine with another methyl bromide so as to form that is CH3 CH3 basically known as ethane or we could say that this C2H5 will combine with that of another mole of C2H5 uh, Br so as to form that is uh, C2H5 C2H5 is known as butane and there will be a possible product that is uh, C2H5 and CH3 so that is we see known as propane but the possibility is this are basically the one which are made up of same uh, moles of uh, the alkyl head so therefore this would be the major products and even this would be the major product while this one would be the mild so this is what I was talking about and this is the reaction that we have did mentioned over here so that's it this is what I want to talk about and thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this concept very clearly and I hope you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe and hit the channel. Thank you so much.